All right, what's going on, guys? I am going to embark on a 12-week mission to prove to anybody who's said that you need carbs uh, to grow muscle, you need carbs to gain to gain mass, you need carbs if you're doing high-intensity training, uh, that you don't need it. You don't have to have carbs to be able to perform, improve, and do well in high-intensity training, in growing muscle, et cetera, et cetera, Okay. Uh, it's been done. There's been studies. There's been hundreds of thousands of people out there doing it, but I'm going to give you a microcosm of what the process looks like from start to finish in 12 weeks. Okay. So what's going to happen? I'm going to start a 12 week program. The 12 week program is going to be a combination of high intensity work, strength work, and uh, GPP, what we call uh, general physical preparedness. Okay. It's going to be a lot of combination of different things. I'm going to post every single day that I'm working out, what the workout is. If you want to follow along, feel free to follow along, okay? Uh, I'm also going to post what I eat for the day. Every day, you're going to see what I eat. Calories, fat, breakdown, protein, uh, protein carbs, whatever. I'm going to post it, okay? I'm, I use chronometer to track, and uh, I'll be using um, my app, the Train Heroic app that I use with my stuff uh, to do the workout so you can see everything there as well. Um what I'm going to, to measure, because we're always talking about measuring, right? We want to prove that what I'm doing is working. So I'm going to measure my body fat, my lean mass, all right? And then I'm going to have the major list, right? I'm going to see if I increase and get stronger in my squat. I'm going to see if I increase and get stronger in my deadlift, see if I increase and get stronger in my bench press, see if I increase and get stronger in my overhead press. Those are the four main things. There's some conditioning tests in there. We'll do like maybe a mile run. Um, I'll probably have some sprint, some high, some shorter interval stuff that I'll come up with as far as the testing, uh, testing goes to see how different things work. All right. So the idea is, can you perform? Can you do, uh, okay? I guess we could say, right. People say you, you, you're going to crash and burn if you work out without, without carbs. Um, now keep in mind, I've been low carb, zero carb for almost three years. Okay. We're going on just over, well, almost three years, just over two and a half, two and a half years. Okay. Two years, seven months. Um, I don't have to worry about the adaptation page. I'm already adapted. I am fat adapted. I've been that way for a couple of years now. Okay. So for anybody who's looking at just starting this, understand that there's going to be an adaptation period for most people that are doing high intensity work. That period can be upwards of four to five months. Okay. Give it time. If you're starting something, and this is where most people say you can't do it, is because they do it for a month, they do it for two months, they feel like crap while they're working out because they haven't given their body time to adapt. If you give your body time to adapt, I am guaranteeing that you will see improvements. Okay? Uh, and we're going to see. I'm going to hopefully in 12 months, in 12, 12 months, in 12 weeks, we're going to see an increase in lean mass. We're going to see a decrease in body fat. We're going to see an increase in strength and an increase in my ability to perform high intensity work. All right. So look forward to that starting tomorrow. I will be posting my first workout and I'll probably put some videos and stuff together too. If you have any questions, if you want to follow along, share this with anybody you know who says you have to have carbs to do high intensity work because I'm going to show that you don't.